Let's make our platform bigger. Press on the Workspace tab and let's adjust our platform width and depth by entering new values. Let's make it 80 by 80 here. Great. Now let's switch back to the Tools panel by pressing the Tools tab. Select the Add Area control. Press and drag from the top left to bottom right to create a square. Make sure to leave room around the edges. Now select the Delete Area control. Let's make a path through the maze by pressing and dragging this control. I'm going to make my path four blocks wide so it can fit a three millimeter ball bearing when printed. And we're done. Great. But it's too easy. So let's now create some dead ends using the same tool. Wow, now it's really difficult. Now select the push-pull control. We're going to pull our blocks up to create our walls. Now if we printed it now, it would fall apart since there's no base holding it together. So let's add one. Select the Add Area tool and drag a square from one corner of the platform to the other. Now it's all connected. One thing left, let's add some markers to the start and end of the maze. Zoom in on the start and select a new colour. Select the Add Block control and press to add blocks one by one around the entrance. Spin it around and using a different colour, let's add some blocks at the end of the maze. Remember, if you make a mistake, don't worry, you can use the Undo button. And we're done!